All right, guys, coming to you with a little gameplay video of this last rank seasons. Our opponent's going to be Pink Sauce 92. He's going to have Alamar, Chipper, Honus, Belly, Frank the Tank, Thomas, or Frank Big Hurt, Thomas, Griffey, Piazza, and Teddy Ballgame at the 8 hole. Ooh, that's weird. That's very weird. And he's going to have, uh, what's his name? DeGrom on the mound. Alright, so let's get this game kicked off. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul. Ball. Try this cutter middle in right here. Let's go. Oh, that's a that's a dot though, boo. Change up down and in. Come on. So this gameplay, I'm probably gonna just keep the whole game, depending on how long it is. Maybe if we get a mercy rule early in the game, I'll keep it as long as it goes. I just wanna uh, talk about MLB 20, honestly. That's what I wanted to talk about during this game. Um, man, oh man. MLB 20 though. Gosh, SDS knows how to get us excited for it, honestly. Oh, that nope. DD stream was a massive W. Wow. From the from the Evo cars to Prestige Diamonds and from the, the flashback cars that they add into the game, from past games to Mickey Mantle. Side note, I've been asking for them since MLB since the end of MLB 15. But who's counting, right? Anyways, uh, uh, to the showdown, they changed the you know the way that they do moments to a showdown scenario, where you can actually draft the team and whatnot. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be dabbling into that too much because I don't like playing offline. But I'll definitely check it out for the first week of the game. See how see how that goes and the rewards. It it generates and then BR wow they completely flipped the script of the meta for BR I've been trying to sit and figure out what the meta is but honestly I haven't I'm gonna have to just play it to figure it out and and try different things different ways of drafting different ways of of you know strategy wise do i want to use it do i want to use an opener most of the time what do i want to do um i have no clue to be honest with you i have no clue on what i want to would want to do wow i mean only two common rounds now that's a big thing uh only two diamonds and two golds though I think that's always how it's been, right? Two diamonds, two golds? No, there's three diamonds this year and three golds. Yeah, they flipped the script completely, huh? They've completely flipped the script on us. It's going to be easy fly out. Um, so anyways, I'm just excited for March 13th to get here at this point. Uh, I'm only playing seasons and... And we'll be 19 to pass time and to get it here. Because, boy, oh, boy, I'm just ready for this game. Perfect, perfect. I want to see how that works out. Obviously, I'd be very disappointed if, if the hitting engine still messed up. But all I know is that they're definitely killing the content game in this for this next year. They're absolutely killing the content game. Like, I didn't. Content was amazing in 19, but they just. I believe this bringing back the cards and Evo cards just took a whole new step forward in content game. Oh, and also bringing back single year cards. That's another thing. Single year cards. Wow. That's and mixing them in with signature series fantastic idea absolutely fantastic idea I don't know why I'm swinging at that 
Absolutely phenomenal idea. It just gives so much more diversity into the game now. With all these cards, with the single year cards, and the it allows. I'm sure they realized that they weren't able to give everybody signature series cards last year that could have had signature series, but they just didn't get to it. And they're like, well, we'll just bring single year cards, being the fact that we can give these guys a single single year card and then another guy a signature series card that deserves one. I think that's what they realized, and that's why they brought back the single year cards. Besides the fact that they're fun to use too. And it's just going to give more diversity into the content of using players in the game. There's a fastball right here. We're swinging. Has to be down the middle, though. Oh, change up. And that's ball four. Cody B. Didn't want no part of Cody B. Oh, that's crushed, baby. Oops, fucking sorry. Let's go. But anyway, so... Um, man, I don't even know where to start for MLB for MLB 20. Like, I don't know if I want to dabble into VR first, if I want to go into Showdown and work some of the... and do some of the missions or whatever, because... Big thing with that is you can skip ahead to the to the boss to the boss mission or whatever it's called at the end versus Scherzer. Like, and it didn't seem too difficult. You got to score four runs on veteran, and you have twenty outs to do it. I don't think that's difficult at all. And they said it was going to get more difficult as the year went on, but the first one's definitely not going to be more difficult, or it's not going to be difficult in my opinion. Wow. Good play. Stepping up now, Frank Thomas. The first baseman, number 30. First pitch on its way. Taken but called a strike. Um anyways, yeah, so and then you got the first inning program with Duke Snyder. I don't think Duke Snyder I don't think most anybody's gonna go with Duke, honestly. His splits are terrible. He has great, you know, fielding and contact and stuff versus and power versus righties, but his lefty splits are not very good at all. And then you got Todd Helton and Oswald. In my opinion, Oswald's probably the way to go. Uh, he's going to be a pretty good pitcher, I would say, for the beginning of the year. Uh, first baseman, there's plenty of them. You can find them, you know, find them at will. But I'm, I mean, I wouldn't blame you for going with Helton either, because Helton's not. He's got good. That's gone. Wow. Okay. He's got good attributes, especially when you get him up to the 94. So. Definitely a card I want to. I want to try, so I'm going to end up buying him, but I'm going to go with Oswalt for sure. And then for the Choice Pack Diamonds, my one card that I know for sure I'm going to be picking is Mickey Mantle. That's the 86 overall Mickey Mantle Diamond card. Yep, we're picking him. That's without a doubt. And then the other ones is going to be based off of what I think is going to be most beneficial for my team at the time. Uh, so I, I I just can't wait to use a Mickey Mantle card regardless if he's freaking regardless if he's the 99 or a or a freaking bronze I just want to get my hands on a Mickey Mantle and use the crap out of him he's going to be so he's going to be the best card ever in an MLB The Show game best Dot. Oh, that's an absolute dot. That's an absolute dot. And if you guys want to know who my first uh, bronze 75 or level 75 bronze pick is going to be, it's, it's definitely going to be the Corey Kluver card. Like, they, that card is probably going to be the best pitcher in... Best starting pitcher. Definitely top five for the whole entire year. So he's going to be in my rotation all year. But he might be up there for the best starting pitcher in the game. 
for the whole year. Honestly, like they did it again. They put the best pitcher again as a free card by just leveling up. That adding that slurve is such a game changer to Corey Kluber. Like that's ridiculous that they added a slurve to him. I mean, he he doesn't he does throw kind of a slurve type breaking ball to be honest. He doesn't really throw a curveball in my opinion. So him getting that pitch, honestly. Got himself a base hit. Is a game changer for him. And he's going to be disgusting. There's actually some. That's not. Yeah, I missed it. There's actually some phenomenal level. Like that card, the Kluber card, that new, the signature series, how new, signature series, how new Hauser, and the. Cy Young, Raleigh Fingers, great freaking cards. Those probably, uh, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that Kluber and Raleigh are gonna be in my in my team the whole year. Know it for a fact. And then Newhouser is gonna be a great pitcher for a while, and I think so. And clearly they're so that's what I'm probably gonna that's what I'm definitely gonna go with to be honest is Kluber then I'm gonna go with Raleigh and then Newhauser that's without a doubt without a doubt in my mind Without a doubt in my mind, these cards are going to be. Uh, but what's the, the rotation? I already got it looking like Kluber, Howe Neuhauser, and freaking the Roy Oswalt card in the inning programs. That's three starters right there off the rip that I know for a fact are going to be my rotation to start the year. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other two another card that's going to be sneaky good that i that i was looking at i believe that um <clears throat> that prospect series force whitley card is going to be pretty good for the first half for the first you know month or maybe even two months of the year being the fact that he throws all the pitches that are nasty he throws a sinker cutter slider change up curveball great pitch mix he might not have the best per nines but at the end of the day we're not going to have the best hitters so he's going to be pretty effective in my opinion that's another card that's going to be in my rotation that i'm thinking about and then the other one i was looking at was that the future stars alex reyes card from 2000 from lb the show 18 he threw gas and he had a sinker he didn't have a cutter, but he had he had a sinker. I believe it was sinker, slider, changeup, curveball, four seam, fastball. That's another card. That's that's my five rotation as I'm looking at right now, or I'm thinking about right now of starting with the year with because unless obviously we gotta know who the I don't know who the collection rewards are. I don't know what else is in the game for the faces of the franchise. That's another nice little addition with the team affinity that they added face of the franchise man i have no idea like that's they only showed wow they only showed what three freaking three of the guys right soto excuse me soto uh snell and who was the other guy they showed byron buxton they only showed three guys, so there's still 27 other guys, and maybe there's somebody in there that's a very sneaky good pitcher. Sneaky good pitcher that has nice pitch mix. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have no idea who. That's totally forgot about face of the franchise for a second, and then I started thinking about it. There's there's so many there's gonna be so many cards in the game, man. So many cards in the game, so much content, so much things to do. It's gonna be crazy. 
Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. And, and I'll tell you right now, I already took off. To right, but be I already took right off. Wall, I'm going to have like about 10 days straight without having to go to work. Using my holiday hours and, and I'm using my holiday hours and personal time, man. And I'm still going to have some time left over because I still have plenty of vacation time, but can't take that much off of work. Man, that was... That ball was... I can't believe that's a ground ball at second baseman. It's eight. Drove in four and that's helped this team lead by two runs up to this point. Get through the hole. Yep, let's go. Base hit. Oh man, that's five two. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third. See if we can get a couple more runs this inning. Standing in, Lou Gehrig trying to keep things going. See if we can get a couple more runs this inning, though. Been talking so much about MLB twenty. Been talking so much about it, and I'm not even like really paying attention to the game as much as I should in order to hit the ball well. Crazy. So excited for it. I can't stop thinking about it, to be honest. I just need these days to pass. I need these days to pass by quickly. Need these days to pass by quickly, please, 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 please. Oh, we got an hour. Time change helped us out with the hour. So, at least we got that, right? Maze is right there, one down. So one away here with the base is empty, and that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. So excited. A little tardy there, no balls and a strike. I'm definitely, I got the, I got the uh, digital deluxe version, so first thing I'm doing is for sure ripping packs. That's the one thing I know that I'm going to be doing is for sure ripping packs and picking my choice, my choice packs. That's the one thing I do know. After that, I have no clue what's what's in store after that. No clue. Well, that's off the plate. That Hopefully, I got some luck and pull Mike Trout first. You know, a first time ever for me of pulling a Mike Trout. Well, I pulled the Mike Trout, but first time ever on release night pulling a Mike Trout with the packs that they gave me. That'd be nice. That'd be amazing. That's a dot. Strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple. Yes, sir. We need a Mike Trout though. Can we put up seven runs this inning to get the mercy rule? Excuse me. I need that Mike Trout. I wonder. I wonder if they did Mike Trout as the faces of the franchise card for for the Angels. For the Angels. Um, I don't know. They might. I don't know if they did because they would have to make that Mike Trout incredible, to be honest. And it seems like they're trying to keep it at like a like anywhere between 80, 87 to 89, maybe 90, 91 at most, but for those first affinity cards. For those first affinity cards. So, who freaking knows? I couldn't think of anybody else that they could do for Faces of the Franchise for... I mean, obviously Rendon, they just got him, but is he... I don't know. Oh, man. So much, so much they left unsaid. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. So much they left unsaid. Deep to left. I'm kind of disliking them right now for not saying as much as they should have. They should tell us everything. I'm kidding. That's what makes it way more. Make, makes us want to know way more. Is leaving those cliffhangers. Leaving those cliffhangers. Not telling us who the collection rewards are. That's killing me as well. Man. That's annoying. Into the wind up, here comes the 0 and 1. This oh, one is that's also gone. Back, 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 back. You know, it's kind of upsetting at the fact that I've squared up a lot more pitches than he has, and the pitches that he has squared up have been all bombs for the most part, I think. <laughs> that's annoying. There we go. Finally, he gets a line out. Uh, man. Perfect, perfect, though. Can't wait for that. I cannot wait for perfect, perfect. I'm going to be in love with perfect, perfect. Just can't wait for it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Lifted in the air to straight away center. And Maybe that's another out. Makes the play and there are Dude, if freaking... Another thing I was thinking about... I have so many things that are running through my mind about MLB 20. Another scenario with MLB 20 is... You're going to have... They already showed the card art for signature series Craig Biggio. By the way, that card is going to have catcher secondary... No doubt about it. The dude caught a f he caught multiple, I think two seasons, full seasons when he first came up. So you're gonna have a catcher this year that has 90 at least 90 speed. You're gonna have a be able to put a catcher back there with 90 speed and good stealing. That's absolutely unheard of. That's ridiculous. Could you imagine? That's just un that's just un that's just unreal. It's like the last time that happened was when caps uh when you can make your cap a ninety nine. That's the last time that happened. Obviously it was unre unrealistic for a cap to have ninety nine everything behind the plate. So that's when you really need to grind. I don't mind the the cap the cap uh position locks and caps on him for the for his attributes um but yeah that's a game changer because 90 speed behind the plate the dude's gonna be good at hitting like he's definitely gonna have for sure for sure he's gonna have really good contact because he had good years and average wise power he's not gonna be terrible with power he's gonna have at least I would say probably mid 70s the to upper 70s. And then he's going to have really good vision because he didn't strike out much throughout his career. It's just, man, that Craig Bizio card, what a great add to the game. Might solve our, might solve our catching, catcher issues unless, of course, they come out with a, a beautiful single year card for Jimmy Fox that has catcher behind the plate because or that has catcher as a secondary because he played catcher that season. That's the one thing about adding the single year cards. They're going to have the positions that they played that year regardless if they played it a lot or not. So that brings a different dynamic to the game. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Man, nothing is caring. Warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Oh, I wasn't on it. Okay. I thought I was on it. I thought I was on that. Not gonna lie. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Back-to-back breaking balls. He just. Oh man. 
Wowzers, where did I miss that? On the run is Griffey. He's there to track it down, and that'll end. Where did I miss that game? So the line but yeah, over and man, if they give us, if they give me a Jimmy Fox that can catch and has amazing attributes, I'm gonna freaking be in tears as well, just like I was for the Mickey Mantle reveal. Please let me have Jimmy behind the plate with Mickey Mantle in center field. That outfield is gonna be stacked this year. Mickey Willie. And then I don't even know who else is going to be back there. Don't even know who else is going to be out there. But all I know is that it's going to be stacked. Although I'm assuming Willie's not going to come for a long time just because they added Mickey Mantle. It's going to be sad. We, had, we got to use... Willie Mays all year this year, and then next, I'm sure for 20, it's not going to be that way. Not going to be that way at all. So sad. What are we going to do without Willie for a long time? I wonder what they're going to do with Babe Ruth, though. Are they going to bring him late in the year again? Or are they going to mid-year? I wonder what that's going to be. It's another thing. I have no clue. They added so many cards. There's, It's just an infinite amount of possibilities for LB20. With the release dates of these new car, with the release dates of these goon cards, I have no clue. But the one thing I will say that I'm looking forward to is building my team again. That's always a fun thing. It's so frustrating though, because I'm an I'm a I'm a I'm too cheap to spend any money in the game, so I'm no money spent all the way. And seeing these other guys that do, that do spend the money and have the, and I mean I'm not against spending money. If you want to go, if you want to go ahead and spend money on the game on your hard-earned money, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm too cheap to do it. I will say that right off the bat. I'm very cheap. I won't do that whatsoever. Um, and seeing these guys get these cards first, it makes me so impatient. I'm like, and it, it's so tempting to. It makes it so tempting for me to spend the money to get these cards quicker. But I then I remind myself, no, you can't. You know, you can just do it. Just gotta wait a little bit longer than these guys have to. Um, just gotta, gotta gotta wait a little bit longer. That's all you gotta do. But it makes me so impatient seeing these cards come out. And then using them in BR, man, because once those cards come out, they're available in BR. So I'm sure, I'm sure somebody's gonna. There it is, the quit. I'm sure somebody's gonna have all these cards that are the collections as soon as opening night comes out. No lie, I know it. It always happens that way. Um just the way it is but anyways guys i know i was ranting about mlb 20 but i wanted to bring out a youtube video and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh me talking about my future plans for mlb 20 and how excited i am um another you know it's going to be a big content year for me i'm going to be putting out a lot of videos pcs coming soon as soon as i get that money from the esl first thing i'm going to do is uh, order the parts i need for a pc going to have somebody help me build it. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you guys are excited as, are exa sorry, are as, are as excited as I am for MLB 20 because I, I'm thinking it's going to be a very good year of MLB, the show. I really do. Their, their SDS has gotten after it. Um, anyways, guys, 
Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you haven't hit that subscribe subscribe button, make sure you do turn those notifications on and make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as quickly as possible. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.